there's mourning in America. This viral ad put a new group called the Lincoln Project on the political map, not because it has been viewed almost three million times. Under the leadership of Donald Trump, our country is weaker and sicker and poorer. This was an attack from members of the president's own party, and he responded by attacking them well after midnight on Twitter. Their reaction? <laughs> Republican operative Rick Wilson is one of the founders of the group. He says the ad did exactly what they wanted. Every day Donald Trump is distracted. Every day Donald Trump is running around like a crazy person, um, doing the things that he does when a tweet gets in his head or an ad gets in his head. His campaign is not focusing on beating Joe Biden. Every day he's thinking about us, he's not thinking about him. With surprising speed, the group turns around ads meant to get inside the president's head. Something's wrong with Donald Trump. He's shaky. Weak, trouble speaking, trouble walking, hitting him on issues that he's made clear bother him, like crowd size. Turn out in Tulsa? A dud. His physical health? We've seen that you're shaky, can't keep your poles up, and it's getting worse. And his handling of the coronavirus. If I don't take responsibility at all. But the group is also airing ads praising former Vice President Joe Biden and Democratic Senate candidates while also attacking Republican senators up for re-election. Rich Mitch has a nice ring to it. That's drawing criticism from other Republicans. But they're doing it uh, not only to oppose to Trump's re-election, but to, to flip the Senate to Democratic majority control. To say that you have to you know, give the Democrats control of the Senate because you oppose Trump, that makes no sense. But Wilson says it's a kind of insurance policy. You know, we don't want to have a situation where Donald Trump, if he does win a second term, has an easy route to continue to do things in this nationalist, populist way that we think is a danger to the country. And more Republicans are joining his cause. Hundreds of alumni from the George Bush administration have formed a group to try and help Biden get elected. The Trump campaign says it's further proof the establishment is working against them. This is highly unusual. Members of a political party turning against its own leader, openly and in public. Imagine how big the crowds will be when he's gone. Actively raising and spending money to see him defeated and their own political party completely out of power. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera.